Hi. Hi, how are you? Good, how are you? Thanks. All right, where would you like to start? Okay, so I was trying, uh, like from um, last class, I was trying to link the Revit, my Revit file to a structural template. And it just like, um, when I was trying to do it, it wasn't even like, when I was trying to link it, my Revit file wasn't showing up. So I don't know like, why is it because I used like CS2 template or something like that? Open up your, do you want to, do you want to share your screen? Yeah. So when I do like file new and then you do project and then um, structural template and then I would just say okay. And then I would then um, You have to close your other file first, by the way. Oh, before I link it? Yeah, it won't let you link it with it open. Okay, maybe that was it. Um, yeah. uh, it's link. Um, so my file name is called like unit two. Um, so then, uh, Like, it's like my Re uh, my Revit file is not even showing up here. So hit cancel for a second there. And let's, um, let's open up your other file for a second. Like, I wonder if you, did you save it as a template file or did you save it as a project file? Yeah, that's the thing. Like, it was a template so, file. Um, yeah, so let's, uh, let's go to file. Um, and we'll go to new. So the template files, you're never supposed to open them. You're always supposed to um, basically do that. Or, I hit exit for a second on that um, and go to file new. And then click browse. And open up your, uh, your file. So the template file, that, this is how you're supposed, you're supposed to open up a template file. You're never supposed to like open it. You're supposed to go to file new and then browse for the template. So click the uh, Revit file there. Okay, so you say, so oh, I would always have to hit browse. Yeah, so click open. And then okay. And then and then go to file save now once that opens. And then I would do project. And then I'll just be like, so. uh, this will this is this will be architectural. Oh, okay, we're like resaving it, basically. Yeah, yeah, resaving it, basically, yeah. Um, let's see. Okay. So, so now close that file, uh, the architectural okay. one. Okay. And now it should, um, and I can. It should link. And so if you want to edit the file at the same time, um, what you want to do is just open up two, two um, copies of Revit at the same time. And you could have the architectural open in one and the structure open in the other. So you're saying um, I can like do like a save as and like create a new one or? No, you just open open another copy of Revit. Okay, so like this is my structure right now, and then. Did you um, did you link it in or no? Yeah, it, I said I did. Go to the three D. There might not be any structure in there, which is why it's not. Yeah, okay, so it is there. It's okay. Just off, it's off the base point, yeah. Okay, um, and I just had a question too on the other model. Um, now I'd have to like, I'll just save this and then. 
Well, so open up, um, yeah, save that first. Um, or did you already save that? So go to, go to your programs and open up Revit again. And so you can actually open up two versions of Revit at the same time. And you just can't open up an architectural, you can't have a linked file in the same version of Revit, but you can have two copies of Revit open, if that makes sense. Yeah, so, um, so you, are you saying like, because I linked that specific file, correct? So you're yeah. saying I would have to make a copy of that file? No, 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 open up another version of Revit itself, not the file. Let me okay. When you mean like another version of Revit, like that's where I'm kind of getting confused about. Like, so um, can you share your whole screen, not just the window? Um, can you do that? I'm not sure if you can show all windows, okay. Yeah. Can you see everything now? Yes, so now just go up and go to your programs. I like the start button. And type in Revit. And then click click Revit and open it. So now you actually have two Revits open. Oh, okay. Yeah, and so with two Revits open, you could have your architectural open in one and your structure open in the other. Okay, so um, but would I have to link then the same file to this one? Uh, yeah, you, you would link. So we're going to have the, it's going to be a little bit confusing after a while. Well, not really confusing, but it's going to be a little bit complicated. So we're going to have the architectural, the structural, mechanical, we'll have, yeah, we'll have architectural, structural, mechanical, and electrical. So mechanical, electrical, and structural will all be linked into, rev, into the architectural. Mm -hmm. And then in the structural, you'll have this, the architectural linked into the structural, you have the mechanical linked into the structural and the electrical linked into the structural. So everything's gonna kind of be linked together. Okay. So just open up your, um, your architectural here. Okay, this is my... So you, you basically have two Revit's open and then you have your architectural open in one and then your structural open in another. And then once you have this, um, you basically wanna link the structural back into this one. Oh, okay. So then I would go to insert. Oh, I don't know why it's not allowing me. Uh, we'll open a 3D view. Okay, so you can only link when it's 3D. Uh, you can, well, you just can't link in a sheet, I guess. Oh, okay. You can link in like four oh. plans. And then I would link the structure back into this one. Yeah. Okay. okay, so whatever architectural changes I made will be. Yeah, so so when you make a change, the first thing you want to do is save. Um, so let's um, let's go into the architecture um, tab at the top here. Um, and let's just draw a random wall out here somewhere. Yeah, that's good. So um, let's save the file. And let's go down here to the other Revit window. And let's go to the 3D and let's go to manage links. And click that link and click reload. And now click OK. And um, change the discipline to coordination. Uh, change it to architecture, maybe. Is there a template on there? Uh, scroll down over here.
Keep it going. There's no template applied. Okay. Um, just zoom around the other side of the building. It should be showing that other curtain hall we just placed. I mean, I can try a solid wall. I don't know if that'll work. That's the idea, anyways. You'll. And then I would hit save. Yep. And, and you said uh, manage links. Manage links. Okay. And then click on it and then reload. Um, yeah. Oh yeah, now it showed up. Yeah, so that's that's kind of the idea of like kind of working with the two Revit files open. Um, just makes it a little bit easier to kind of go back and forth. And oh, okay, and even if I do the same thing with the structure, then I would have um, hit manage links and then yeah. reload it. Yeah, okay. Exactly, yeah. um, I also had a, like another question. Sure. So I modeled, I wasn't sure if I was doing this right with the footings. Um, so, so what I did, like I, I don't think this is right to be honest. Um, when I was adding the footings, this like it automatically the cutout like it just added one right there. Um, yeah. I don't know why it did that. Um, so click the footing for a second. Uh, the, the strip footing, sorry. This one right here. Click this one right here. Oh, okay. Like, it's it's one wall, but, like, because I cut it out, it, like, for some reason. Yeah, so it's going to follow your path. What I would do, I was br I'd break, break the wall. The wall. And, okay. then, um, and then just delete the footing in the middle. Okay. Is that, is that an opening or what is that? Yeah, that's like a um, garage opening. So maybe I can just then offset that wall. So instead of doing what you did here, um, what I would do is actually create a door there or create an opening. Because Revit won't, um, if you click edit type here for a second. So there's a button here, do not break it inserts. Um, mm -hmm. So click that button. And so typically what, what that means, and I guess regardless, if you click OK, um, if you have a door, so place, a, just grab a door for a second. And just place a door like right here. So what that do not break and inserts means is when you place a door, it means the footing will continue under the door. And when you uncheck that, so if you click the strip footing again, and uncheck, um, go back and edit type and uncheck that. You'll notice right here, the footing will disappear. But what you've done here is you've actually just cut the wall. So what I would do is um, click on, Click on that wall for a second and um, reset profile, or actually don't reset, sorry, click edit profile. Uh, so it looks like you have a slope there. So just delete that opening there. Just like bring it down. Yeah, you can do that. And then what I would do is go into here and do a wall opening and then place that wall opening there. I just clicked it. Click like right here and then click down here. Oh, okay. Yeah. And then I can just edit the, okay. Yeah, so now that won't move the footing up because wall opening. Okay. What, yeah. what Revit, Revit's doing is it's saying, oh, your wall stops here, so let's move the footing up there, right? Whereas if you yeah. place an opening, Revit knows it's an opening. 
Okay, that makes sense. So every time I cut out or something, I should just do a wall opening. Yeah. Um, and also, did I place these right? Because this is a garage, so would it go below the building? Yeah, or... um, footings are a little bit more complicated in commercial structures, but typically you're, what I usually do is all the columns here. Yeah. I will set all the columns to be like negative six inches from the, from the floor. And that way but would the perfect. footing would the footing then also be below because like yeah. this is a garage correct so like it needs to be open yeah so the footing would be below the floor typically okay yeah that's... so that's why I would set all the columns to be negative six inches and then okay. drop the footings down um, that's what they would typically do like they would pour the footings first um, often they will pour the columns and then they'll pour, pour the floor after. Yeah, so first it would be the footing, then like these tiny columns on top, and then the floor, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, it, often, it depends on the project. I guess there's, there's cases where they don't do that, but one of the reasons why they would do that is they can actually then isolate the columns and the floor a little bit away from each other, so if there's any movement, the floor won't crack as much. Okay. Um, that's one of the reasons why they do that, but um, yeah, they could pour it all in one. It's just a lot probably a lot easier if they didn't. Okay, that sounds good. Um, and then I just wanted to clarify because like this week we're doing, um, I think we were doing um, the beams, I believe, and the trusses. Oh uh, yeah, beams and joists. So for my building, um, I'm not really sure exactly what they use. Um, your beams are obviously like like uh, I know there's the I beams right there. Yeah. So I would just use that throughout the, the like. Yeah. So you're gonna have everywhere there's a column. Um, you're gonna have some. So go back to the floor plan. So you're likely gonna have an I beam, an I beam, an I beam, an I beam, and then in between here. There's going to be joists, mm -hmm. and this is, I believe, this is a structural shear wall. There. Yeah. yeah okay. And then in between, everywhere you have joists, basically. Okay, that won't be too hard at all. Yeah. Okay. Um. So for the uh, footings and stuff, do you mind if I resubmit the unit too, or because I, all the footings are um way above. <laughs> Yeah, you can you can resubmit it. What I would recommend doing is copying all your structural elements from the architecture and moving it to um, the structural. And one of the ways to do that would be to actually unlink them. Okay, um, so this is my structural one. Yeah. So you're saying I should go to manage links, right? Yeah. And then and, and delete the link. And then delete the link between the architectural as well. Um, do I just say re remove, right? Yeah, do remove. And so then open those files in the same project or in the same re instance of Revit. And then you can copy all the structural elements you made in the architectural and move them over to the structural. Okay, so then if this is my architectural one and then I would unlink. Unlink, close it and, sa and save it. Or save uh -huh. it and close it. Uh, under, under insert. Insert, okay. Insert manage links. Remove. Okay. And then and you then, said, like, uh, just copy. Yeah, you have to you have to save it all and close it, close that for a second. Save. And you have to open it back up in the other instance of Revit. So close it all. And then and go then back. Open into this one. There. Okay. File. Open. Um, and I also had a question like Revit like makes all these like copies. So um, I was just wondering what that was for. They're backup files. Okay. So open up your architecture for a second and I'll show you something um, that's. So if you click file up in the top left hand corner. I'll... Go down to options at the bottom. 
So Revit will back up every 30 minutes. You can actually click that and make it 15, which I'd highly recommend you do um, because 15 minutes is a little bit, you know, a lot can happen in 30 minutes, yeah. right? <laughs> 15 minutes, you know, you can usually save some stuff, right? So. Uh, and should I do synchronize central reminder? Yeah, you can do that one as 15. You're not obviously using a central file right now, so that won't really be applicable, but yeah. So then just click okay. So those, you never want to open those backups um, unless you need them, but they're, they're essentially what they are is backups. So okay. Revit will, every 15 minutes, Revit will save a backup. Okay, so I can go back and like delete them if, if my folder is gonna Yeah, be Revit, Revit will usually keep, I think there's a setting in the options that tells Revit how many to keep. I think Revit keeps around four at a time. So Revit will auto actually automatically delete them. Oh, okay. Yeah, so they'll, they'll only keep four in your folder and then after every 15 minutes, they'll, they'll save one and delete one. Oh, okay, that makes sense. Um, so you said, so now since I'm in my architectural one, yeah. um, I would copy all the footings, columns. Yeah, anything it's structural. And I can just do that from here, right? Or, um, what I would recommend doing is going to the full 3D. And, yeah. Um, I would um, I would click on a wall first, um, and go down to the bottom and go to the sunglasses, and go to hide category. Um, and then click on the floor and do the same. Um, and then you can probably click on the door, stare and stare at the same time. And click on a, a piece of furniture at the same time as well. And then do the same thing again. And you probably want to select the curtain wall and the railing as well. Yeah. Was that a bean? I think it was, if I do control C, it should. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I think that was my railing, like the top of it, I guess. Yeah, you mod oh, you model is a curtain wall. That should be fine, you don't want, yeah, you don't want curtain walls. I'd hide okay. that, hide that, hide that, yeah. They're like, they're like, yeah, they're like all over it. Let me just hide these then. Um, cause there were a bunch of like glass railings. So I, I would just hide the whole category because you, to, you probably want to leave your, um, shading stuff in the main uh, plan. Um, mm -hmm. and you just want to bring over the structural and the columns. Okay. I think that's, yeah, that's it. So hide your curtain wall as well, your curtain walls and your shading. Um, okay. Yeah, so basically, and then also hide the roof. Yeah, so that's what you want to basically bring over to your, um, your structural. You're going to want to bring over floors eventually, but right now we'll just start with that. Okay, so I would just copy this and then. Yeah, you go up to right over here and you can click copy. And then go to your structural. And you go um, to the modify tab over here. And go to paste and paste to align to current view. Click OK. Yeah, and go to your 3D for your structural. Click 
quick um, quick little house up there. So you're going to want to also replicate your levels eventually, um, but I think that's fine okay. for now. And then um, you probably want to delete all your structural elements from your architectural plan. And then now you can um, close close your architectural and then reopen it in the other instance of Revit, and then you can relink it. Yeah. So then, like all of these would then show up in there, but I can't like really move it in that file, correct? Yeah, you'll have to move it in the structural, not in the architectural. Okay. Um. So the other thing about your project that's a little bit complicated is it looks like there's a decorative column cap around the columns in the architectural because you probably have I-beams going up, right? Yeah. And then, so what, what you might want to do is leave all the columns in the architectural except for the ones in the parking garage. Delete those ones. But then all the ones above the first floor, leave all those and then change these in the structural to be I-beams. So then when you link them, you'll see the I-beam in the middle of the other column. Okay, so um, so let me save this. So I, I should X this out, you're saying, right, first? Yeah, yeah, save, save all the architectural. And then, yeah. this is my architectural, so let me save this also. And then let me just delete the structural ones. I, well, you, yeah, you, you can either whatever it works. Okay. You can open then, one of one of them in the other pro, in the other side. And then now I would structure. Now you can relink them. Okay. I'm starting to understand like how the linking <laughs> work though. Yeah. Um. Insert. Insert. Okay. Add. Or this would be the building. We're not link grab it, my bad. Did it duplicate it or? Yeah, so um, yeah, that's it. Be you need to fix the levels first, that's probably what's going on in my um. Uh, and your structural. Okay. There's probably no levels set up, so you need to take some time to do that. Before we do that, what I would do is let's grab all these columns you see in the structural for a second. Are you in the structural or in the architectural? Whatever one's the structural, go to the structural one. Is this, is this, is this the structural or is this the architectural? This is the architectural one. Go, go to the structural one. I think it duplicated two of them. So select all the columns in the structural model. You can just right click on one column. And I'll show you a trick here. Go to select all instances and then visible and project. Yeah, visible view, yeah. And then change all these to a steel column. Would it only, okay, that's in the structural. Um, oh, do I? Uh, um, click. Edit type and go to load. Structural framing or? Uh, go to structural columns. This is steel and then W uh, top there, W wide flange. And then open. And then what you want to do in here is make that a lot larger. Uh, bring this over here down. Okay. 
Sorry, you can make the, if you grab the corner here, you can make it larger. Oh, okay. And so I would bring in, so scroll down to W12. So I would bring in like W, um, actually you could probably bring in a W16. So you wanna hold the control button on your keyboard. So bring in a W16 by 40. And then go down to W14. Let's bring in a W14 by probably 50 or something. 14 by 50. Something somewhere just, in that range. Okay. Uh -huh. 40 or something. One of those two. Uh, sure, you want to use the control, not the shift. Oh, okay. Oh. Um, okay. Do I have, have to, to load? Yeah, yeah, load again. Steel. And then you said 40 by? Uh, four, so you want to bring in a 16, a 14, a 12, and a 10. 16. I just like to bring in a few different ones at the same time, just so I have options. 16, um, and you said 14? 14 by 40. 12 by 40 and a 10 by 40. Some, somewhere in that, they're not gonna be always the same number, but somewhere in that range. So when I click shift, it's like clicking yeah, all you wanna hit You wanna hit the control button, not shift. Oh, why do I keep doing that? Sorry. So 16 by 40. Okay, and then just hit okay. Yeah, yeah, and so then click okay. And then save and then reload that into the architectural. Save. In the architectural one, manage. manage links, reload. Okay. Okay, and now go to a floor plan for a second. Go to like the second or third floor. Doesn't really matter, just click, yeah, I just want those floors. So now zoom in on those columns. Oh, okay. So now you see like the I-beam in the middle of it, because that's what they would typically do. They'd probably have some sort of structure and they'd cap that structure in something. So, so, um, so the, I would keep like the struct, um, would I have the columns and the I-beams in the structural one or would I just keep the columns in the architecture and the beams in the structure? Yeah, so you would have the I-beams in the structural and then you'd okay. have the concrete columns in the architectural, and the concrete columns are like decorative. Okay, I get okay. it now. I understand. Yes. So you can actually change the concrete columns in the architectural to something else, but I, um, it just kind of, it's, um, it's good to show that because that's how, you know, typically they would fireproof um, all these columns in a building like this, so they have to cap them in something. Um, yeah. Typically, so just it's mm -hmm. um, And then, so you know how they're doubled here so i would delete should i delete all or like change it here first for the structure like all the footings and things like that and then delete it in the architecture one yes yeah. okay um and i just had one more question like on canvas i don't know if other people are like i try to ask the help desk um but for the links you um assign it's just giving me like an error when you it? yeah oh, so do you still see me yeah like when i sign in it's giving me this and what the help desk said was like go into lidna.com search the video yeah and so then, um go um go back into the module here for a second and right click and copy that link uh, yeah, copy link address, open up a new tab. 
Uh, that's really interesting that it's giving me that. Yeah. Um, go back to the module for a second. Um, hover your mouse over that. Okay, move your mouse to the left a little bit. Um, keep moving it. That's super weird. Um, go down to the bottom one. That's why it's kind of been hard for me to like, because I've been like searching it and no, if like according to the time, like that's how I like verify if that's the video or not. Because there's actually the help desk that did all that for me because we were using um, Linda before and now it's like LinkedIn learning now. Yeah. Um, let me see here. What do I do? Um, No one else has emailed me about that. So I'm wondering if it's, <laughs> there's two things. One is you're doing it early. <laughs> and so you're probably the only person that's seen it so far or there is an actual problem. So let's see here. Cause I think to me, cause other, I feel like, uh, like others would have emailed you and my friend, she's in your other class um, for um, fundamentals and I don't think she's having any problem with the links. Okay, uh, let me see here. Let me go to one of my older courses. Again, the building system, the building systems. When did I teach BIM for building systems last? Past enrollments, BIM for building systems, fall 2019. I guess that was the last time I taught it. Um, this is module three. Let's see here. Oh, okay, let me, uh, I'll email someone about that. Okay. And I, I can like, um, on Monday too, like I, I reached out to the help desk, but like they were emailing, emailing me, and they were saying that like open Lin Linda first, but like it didn't work either way. Yeah, well, and I guess the other thing too is don't open Linda. Open up LinkedIn Learning now. I mean, yeah, that's what I was. Uh, so what I've been doing is like opening that and just like um, searching, like adding perimeter beams and then I look at the video timeline to like make sure if it's the right video. Let me actually open up, let me see if I think I taught it in summer. Does it allow me to go back to summer of 2019? Summer of 2019 is here. Let me see if the links are in summer of 2019 properly. Module three, structure, beams, and joists. Yeah, so the videos are here. So let me copy. These are all Linda. Those are Linda too. Um, okay, let me. So let me copy the. I can't edit it. Um, so it's an old course. Okay, let me. I'll email someone about that, and I'll see if I can get that fixed. Um, okay, would you want my like banner ID or anything? No, I think it might be everyone's gonna have that same problem. So. Okay. Yeah. I, yeah. Okay, well, um, would good. this be recorded on the YouTube thing? Um, yeah, I was gonna ask you about that. So like, record it, so I can I can upload this call after. Yeah, for sure, I'd appreciate it a lot. Excellent. Yeah, I can do that. Well, thank you so much for meeting with me. It really hey, cleared like issues I was having. No worries. It's sometimes easier than going back and forth with email. So yeah. Okay. Hope you have a great day. You too. Thank you. Have a good Thank weekend. you. Bye. Bye.